In a tranquil hamlet nestled between time-worn woods and a serene lake resided a young lad named Elliot. His family home, a charming antiquity inherited through generations, once bustled with the laughter and tales of his recently deceased grandfather. Post his peaceful departure, an eerie silence had taken residence in their home. One spectral night, the moonlight painted eerie shadows on cobblestone paths. Suddenly, the stillness was shattered by the jarring ring of their home phone. Elliot, who was nearby, answered the call. His greeting was met with silence until a faint voice echoed, Elliot, my boy. The voice held the familiar warmth of his grandfather's, causing an amalgam of fear and joy to course through Elliot. His parents, however, found the voice elusive, attributing Elliot's experience to his imagination, a result of his grief. Over the next few nights, these phantom calls continued. Messages filled with affection and caution were whispered, only to Elliot. The voice, however, would cease the moment his parents attempted to listen, causing concern for Elliot's mental health. One twilight, Elliot's father, driven by a blend of fear and vexation, decided to visit his father's grave, hoping to provide closure for Elliot. There, amidst the eerie tranquility of the graveyard, they noticed a peculiar sight. A rusty telephone line meandered through wildflowers and weeds, disappearing into the earth at the foot of the grandfather's tombstone. This sight sent a chill down their spines. The line seemed to defy logic, appearing to establish a connection between the realms of the living and the departed. Elliot's father cautiously unearthed a small portion of the line, revealing its entry into the grave. As they stood there, gripped by terror, the home phone rang in their distant dwelling its sound reverberating through the silent woods, seemingly bridging the gap between the fleeting and the infinite. Before we dive into the next chilling scene, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Now, let's continue. A silence fell over Elliot and his father as they stared at the unearthed telephone line. The ringing of the home phone echoed in their ears, a haunting melody that seemed to resonate from the depths of the grave. Elliot's father, overcome by an inexplicable urge, hurried back home, leaving Elliot alone in the graveyard. Elliot, left alone with the disconcerting sight, felt a strange pull towards the telephone line. With a trembling hand, he reached out and touched the cold, metallic wire. As he did, an uncanny sensation coursed through him. Suddenly, the ringing of the home phone ceased. In its place, a faint, static-filled voice whispered from the line, it was a voice from the past, a voice that sounded remarkably like his grandfather's. The voice spoke cryptically, reciting an old lullaby that Elliot's grandfather used to sing to him. The voice slowly faded until all that was left was the hush of the wind and the rustling of leaves. Elliot stood there in silence, a chill running down his spine, the lullaby echoing in his mind, leaving him with more questions than he had started with. As the scene fades to black, the lullaby continues to play softly filling the air with an eeriness that is both chilling and intriguing.